Creatio CRM tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with Creatio CRM. Now, this is going to be a full workflow automation guide, so let's get started. To get started with Creatio CRM, the first thing we're going to go to is Creatio.com and then click on AI Native CRM. Once you do that, you're just going to open up their AI Native CRM and this is what it's going to look like. Now, you guys can see that it has, you know, a bunch of different features, including the fact that it's AI powered, which is going to save you a lot of time, faster implementation, lower the total cost of ownership and reduces your manual data entry. So let's get started. So for this, we're going to click on try it for free to get started for free. Now you have Studio Creatio and CRM Creatio. We're going to get started with CRM Creatio. And once we do that, we can proceed with our free trial on Creatio's CRM. The first step is to create your account. So we're just going to sign up. You do need a business email and password, or you can sign up via Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn. I'm just going to be using Google for today because this just helps us signing up in a very quick manner. We're just going to be signing up very quickly like so. And then we're going to enter our company and our country, then phone. And then just click on sign up. We do have to enter our company website. And for that, I'm going to be linking my Shopify store website. We're just going to quickly open this up over here. And once we've opened this up, we're just going to open up our online store, copy our website link and paste it here. Then click on sign up to proceed with your account creation on Creatio. Now, once we have proceeded with our basic steps to signing up on Creatio, we can move forward. So you guys can see that they are now creating our account and setting up our dashboard. We will be able to try our full-fledged marketing, sales, and service products integrated into one no-code platform within a few moments. This does not take very long. It takes like 20 seconds or 30 seconds for this entire setup to be completed. So you guys can see it has already started to load up our full CRM. And within our CRM, this is what it looks like. So you guys can see this is what it looks like. It has some sample data that has been entered. Now on the top left, you will find the option to open up your menu bar. In your menu bar, you can click on CRM. And under CRM, these are all of your basic sections. You have accounts, calendars, tasks, contacts, emails, leads, opportunities, orders, and knowledge bases. Now this truly depends on where you want to get started. I like to get started by adding a few contacts. I like to go into contacts over here. Once you go into contacts over here, and once you go into contacts over here, you're just going to see a few sample contacts, but to get started with your own, you can either import them from Excel or web forms and pages, but I'm going to manually add a new one by clicking on new over here and then you enter the contact type now there can be four types of contacts either this is a contact person a customer employee or a supplier all right let's say this is going to be a customer we can select an account and enter their job title and phone number and their name i'm going to add let's say it's going to be snow smith and we're just going to add this person just like so now the next step is to add your accounts so click on accounts over here and then click on new once you click on new you can add new accounts and accounts are going to basically be businesses that you're adding so if you have uh, businesses or companies then you're going to add them under accounts and each account can be related to a specific person as well so let's say this is going to be our logitech account logitech and we're going to choose the type let's say this is a partner company that we're working with and the industry is maybe tech or the industry we have a few field yeah it company and we're just going to save it now, once we've entered some of the basic contacts and accounts, I ideally recommend you import these rather than adding them manually unless you're just building up your accounts. So once you do that, you're going to proceed with adding your actual leads and opportunities. First off, we're going to go into leads and leads are added in the same way as you added accounts. You can just click on new on the top right and then you can add your customer need. So let's say this is going to be a need for our products and the contact you're going to select it. You can click on the search bar account and then add a contact that you have. We added Snow Smith as a contact, so we're just going to search for Snow over here. Yeah, and we're going to select them as the person that is a potential lead. We can link an account, we can add the lead type. 
So you have inbound marketing, outbound marketing, partners, PQL, referrals, HQL. We're just going to add it added manually and we're going to click on save like so. And just like that, you have your new lead. Now, whenever a new lead is created, a lead is defined in multiple different stages. So their pipeline is built very simply within Creatio. Creatio is truly an intuitive platform that is going to be easy to use for everyone. So when you have a new lead that has been created, you will see the stage on the right. You can click on edit here and then choose the stage that you are at. Awaiting sale, closed, converted, disqualified, handoff to sales, not entrusted, nurturing. So let's say this is in the nurturing stage and you just add it like so. You can filter these out and even get summaries for all of these potential leads. Then you have opportunities. So within opportunities, you're going to find a simple list where you have stages as well, including your stage for contacting, presenting, qualification, closed, so on and so forth. If you click on over here, you guys can see these are a few of the lead stages that we have. So you guys can see this includes qualification, proposal, proposal presentation, negotiation, so on and so forth. So these are all your opportunities. Now to further automate all of these things, so we've covered accounts, contacts, as well as leads and opportunities. To automate all of these things, we can go into tasks and we can start adding tasks that are relevant to each one of our opportunities or each one of our accounts and then just click on new. Then you can simply, whenever you're adding a new task, enter the subject. Then you're going to add the category. So this is going to be um, paperwork. You can choose the status and the owner. And then you can click on show in calendar. You can choose even the start date and the end date of every task and then go into due and then it's due at this time and then just click on save. Then you can go into your calendar and this will be added within your calendar. You can filter out the calendar by each employee so every employee has something to do and all of your scheduled presentations, accounts, and opportunities, anything that needs to be done that has been scheduled will be displayed on this calendar if you're not filtering by employee. However, you can filter this by employee to see who is supposed to do what to make it even simpler for you. Now, from here, you can proceed with bulk emails as well. Because Creative is an all-in-one CRM platform, you can go into bulk emailing to get started with your emailing needs here as well. And for all of your other employees, you can start with going into knowledge base to start adding knowledge base articles to handle your basic uh, business services. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video